initially when I came to the Lord, I was quite young. I was 18. And I came with, um, and I, I really kind of asked God for a testimony. You know, what, if somebody were to ask me about my testimony, what would it be? And, and it was a threefold testimony. It was acceptance, adoption, and abundant life. And it's, you know, that, that God accepts us, who we are, the way we are. Um, and then we accept Him, and that's how we become, you know, we become a child of God. And then the adoption is knowing that I've grown up my whole life, you know, even from the earliest time, just not having any family and my family rejecting me and um, not feeling accepted by my own family. The thought of being accepted into the kingdom of God, into the family of God, was a big thing. And then, and then after that, you move into what God does is He gives us abundant life. And my abundant life is, you know, my amazing children and the school that I have. And, you know, and I can see where God just gave me you know, all three of those things. Then as I walked out my journey with the Lord, I started to realize that although God gives me acceptance and God gives me abundant life, the adoption into his family came with provisions. The church was not very friendly to me. And so, you know, the Word of God says that He takes the lonely and He sets those in the families. And I thought for sure that I had found my place in the church. And then I realized that that I was never good enough in the church, that um, there was always a problem, there was always an issue, there was um, a lot of not being good enough. I was good enough for God, but I wasn't good enough for the church. And you know, and even through, you know, recently divorce, you know, through the divorce, when I needed a church the most, they were like, oh, you're, you're getting a divorce. We don't, you know, we're not having anything to do with you. And, you know, feeling like at that time that really questioning, you know, my walk with God and going, okay, God, are you, are you really truly there, you know? And just those times that I felt really lonely and I stepped out of the church seven years ago and I said, you know, I don't need the church. It, me and God will be just fine. And for a time it was. It, it was great. I think it brought me back to that very basic of who God was in my life and that I didn't need to depend on anyone for my provision because God was going to give me what I needed. But then I started to realize that there is, you know, there is something to be said for being around like-minded people, for those who love the Lord and for being in church and just being able to serve your fellow man. And so God started doing a work on me and I realized that there are two commandments in Matthew 22 and God I believe it's Matthew 22, God says that you are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. That is the greatest commandment. And the second liken unto it is to love your neighbor as yourself. And I realized that I was meeting half of those. And the church was meeting half of those. That I felt like I was with people that were loving God to the best of their ability, but they weren't loving their fellow man. They weren't, they weren't realizing that we all come into the family of God as broken pottery. You know, we all have cracks, we all have, have Mars, and we all are just trying to find a way to use this broken vessel that God has given us. And even though you, you pour something into it and it's gonna have some leaks, you know, we're all trying to find that way in the kingdom of God, in our church, to use the gifts that God has given us and I just felt like that my gifts were not good enough. And I was deeply hurt. And, you know, and there were just so many times that I felt betrayed. And when I would go to my church, when I needed them and I would go to my church, they would say it was more of a condemnation, a lot of finger pointing. And I said, but aren't we just supposed to love each other? I think the hardest part for me was being in church and not trusting the pastor. I did not trust my pastors. I did not believe that what they said 
came from God. I did not believe that they had the integrity. Some of the things that they said to me were, tore me down, didn't lift me up. And, you know, and uh, then, of course, my son meets the pastor of Blackwater, um, Pastor Kennan. And I start talking to this man, and I realize that this man has integrity. You know, he is, and then his wife, she's a rock star. Um, and I realize that they have a similar like-mindedness in that they want to do what I want to do, and that is to love God and to love His people. And so after seven years of me saying, oh, I'm done with church, you know, never tell God no. And so I have now come to a point where um, I want to be someplace where I can love God and I can love His people and I can be loved by God and be loved by His people. And I think that's where, kind of where I am right now. Life is so hard in general with everything that is going on. When you come to church, you want to come to church for refuge. You want to come to church to recharge. You want to come to church to, to belong to fill the gaps, like you give, and, and I don't, like you give so much of yourself all day, every day. You're pouring into things and into people, and you just want to come to a place where you can recharge and where you can love people and you can love on people. And for me, I never thought that I would find a church where I could be accepted, where I could be loved. And we can say, hey, you know what? We want to do this journey with you. We want to walk with you. We don't want to fight against you. And I think that's what it was. I felt like for so many years I raised my children in church. I was faithful in the church. And I always felt like going to church that it was like fighting against the waves. It was, you know, not feeling like that you were serving with someone. You were almost like serving against them. And so I'm really excited for this new story, this new journey, um, to be able to come to a place where um, I can enjoy the people of God and the love of God and, and uh, find a way to serve, you know, and just, um, just excited about what God is gonna do. And so my story is not complete. My story will, um, I think we will always continue writing that story. I think we will always continue. As long as we are breathing, we are always walking that journey and we are always um, finishing that story. I think at this stage, I am happy that God has accepted me and I've accepted Him. I am blessed and thankful for the abundant life that God has given me. And now I want to find that acceptance in the church and in the house of God and with the people of God.